Matt, that was a, a great game to watch in, I mean, really difficult heat this evening. What's your assessment of that one? Oh, well, lucky. It wasn't too hot. The, the sun's gone down. Um, I, I thought we were leggy tonight. I thought we were really leggy. Um, I, think I actually felt both teams were leggy. They both looked like they'd had a, a tough week. Um, in relation to the way the game was, we, we scored some good goals, conceded some poor goals, uh, made it a good spectacle for anyone who's here. Um, but the main thing from my point of view is to make sure that we've come through unscathed. Uh, you could just see it, um, you could see it in training yesterday, you could see it in our preparations today. Um, the work we've done has, has took its toll, um, but I'm really pleased with that because it shows how much the lads have put in in the last two and a half weeks. So um, I've got no qualms in terms of some aspects of that game. Um, but when your body's not quite there, your mind's got to stay absolutely on point. Um, and we just didn't let ourselves down, but we let them back in the game at, at poor moments where our mind just wasn't quite switched on. I think I saw you up at, sitting up at the back of the stand at points during the game. Is that just giving you a different perspective on things? Yeah, look, it's, it's, it's one of the few non-league grounds with a big enough stand to go and get a, a, an aerial view, so to speak, to see the, the space on the football pitch. Um, but our principles don't ever change, um, regardless of where I sit or where everyone else sits. Um, the key aspect is, is the way we work first and foremost. And like I say, um, you could just sense from the, the build-up in the last 24, 48 hours and when the game started, we just didn't quite have that extra yard in our legs tonight. Um, so we had to let the ball do the work. Um, but we've created, we've created enough opportunities to win the game, hence why we scored those goals. Um, but to keep it a, an even contest, we just gave them the two easy in. Great to see James Dodd on the score sheet tonight. He's had a, a rough time with his I'm, I'm so pleased for him um, because, look, two crucial operations, um, a player with, with so much talent, um, and rightly so, we didn't judge him on his, his body last season. We gave, gave him as much time as we possibly could, and this pre season is a big pre season for him. Um, he'll still hopefully go out and get loan football because um, he needs to play competitive football, um, and he's not quite ready physically and mentally for, for our level as yet. Um, but games like this just get him a step closer and closer and closer. So I'm really pleased with him. Um, obviously, in terms of what the the future holds for Dodds, I just hope his body allows him to what to do what he needs to do, um, and hopefully he'll have a full career. MJ joked with me after after the Taunton game that he was frustrated he hadn't scored. So I think re relief in pre-season for him to get the score sheet as well. Yeah. No, goal scorers thrive off confidence, um, and that was an outstanding finish um, and one of the few moments of quality for that that sort of not second half team, the last 30 minutes team. Um, the game was always going to become disjointed, um, but I didn't want the whole game to derail into what was just going to be a sort of a, an end-to-end -end encounter with no real pace or quality into it. So that was an important moment for MJ because, you know, like I say, he scored so many goals last season um, and he's had the odd opportunity so far in pre-season, but to hit the back of the net with that moment of quality is, is another stepping stone for what's to come in relation to his game. So we've got four days now until that game at Weymouth next Tuesday. Do you expect to be any transfer movements before then? Potentially. Um, it's, it's when the players are in for their medicals and signing, signing the forms and, and we can announce them. Um, there's no rush in relation to that. Um, the the build-up is, is pretty clear. Um, I want the group now to start playing with, with it in their legs, if that makes sense. Um, so these games we've played in the sort of first three or four games, we've had fatigue in our bodies. Um, now we've just got to manage the group so that they're not tired going into the games. The games will now get them fit. Um, you could see tonight, like I say, the main thing was to come through that unscathed. So whatever team I put out on Tuesday night, the ones who played the majority of those minutes on Tuesday have to be fresh enough to be able to compete for that amount of time. And exactly the same the following Saturday and then the following Tuesday and then the following Saturday. So all of a sudden they've, they've done enough work in the first three weeks of pre-season. Now we just fine tuning certain aspects of the game and then we can start judging them. You know, it's very much the time now to, to sort of state the claim for, for selection. Um, the three weeks have gone pretty quickly. It's incredible how, how quickly it goes in pre-season. And I can guarantee the next three weeks will go pretty quickly as well. And, and sooner rather than later, we'll be looking or focusing on Bradford. And finally, a quick word on Lewis Page. You signed for Harrogate uh, this evening. Uh, wish him all the best, of course. Yeah, absolutely. We, we're delighted with his contribution last season. Um, we, we felt we got as much as we possibly could out of, of Lewis in relation to his body and his, his previous injury record. So I'm, I'm delighted he's got another contract in professional football.